Well, Dave, it looks like you have the workings of a great soup stock here. I sure do. This is the vegetable soup stock. And of course, it's used in a lot of recipes throughout the Recipes for Life book. Um, and one of the things, it takes a little bit longer to make, so I like to make a lot of it, and that way I can put some of it away, I can freeze it, and utilize it in other recipes next week or next month. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. And what all do you have here? Um, well, I've taken two medium onions, two potatoes, three carrots, about three to four stalks of celery, a half a cup to a cup of parsley. Uh, I've got some nice plump sized garlic cloves. I'm going to use so three. Good. I've got two cups of coarsely chopped cauliflower and two cups of broccoli. Now, if a person doesn't want uh, such a broccoli or cauliflower taste, can they omit those ingredients? Sure. The one thing you want to do, I recommend you make this recipe like it is in the book and taste it. And then, based on your own personal taste, you can adjust it by adding or deleting vegetable items or by changing the seasoning. Okay. Now, speaking of seasonings, um, I've got in here, to start with, one teaspoon of basil, one teaspoon of thyme, one bay leaf. And in the book, it calls for Greg's liquid aminos to taste. But since it was published, how Louis Akers has learned that really unrefined Celtic sea salt is a really a better alternative. So I'm going to put that into taste. All right. Now, the next step is to put this in the stock pot and steam saute them. So, let's go ahead and get this in. All right. I'll be making the avocado soup in a little while, and that calls for soup stock, so I can't wait to see how this turns out. Right, and I've actually picked out a couple other soups to show you, just to give you an idea of the, all the different ways that you can use the soup stock. Now, we're going to steam saute these vegetables, and to do that, I'm going to use about a cup to a cup and a half of distilled water, and we're going to cover it and put it under a medium heat. This will probably take about 15 minutes just until the vegetables get tender. So the next step is to cover it with about eight to 10 cups of distilled water. Then what I'm gonna do is bring this up to a boil and then reduce it to a simmer and let it simmer for about 45 minutes to an hour. And that'll draw out all the flavor in the vegetables and seasonings. Now I've strained my soup stock and let it cool to room temperature. 